Hello and welcome to the Games Night channel. Hello. Hello. Today we will be uh, modeling and chatting. Yeah. And painting. Mm. And warhammering. <laughs> and warhammering. And warhammering. Okay. It's a new, new <laughs> noun. Is that, that, that we'll smash our one. models? What? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Who's going yeah. first? Um, I've got a drill. <laughs> I mean, obviously, everybody will know who you are, Duncan, but mm. people may not know who this gentleman, this gentleman, this gentleman is. Introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm ladies. Harry. Uh, I'm playing Imperial Guard. Ooh, and okay. I'm 42 and looking for a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Mm, very good, very good. Very young, uh, I'm Mike. I am playing the insatiable horde of mm. Tyranids. Oh, very good. Oh creepy, evil, creepy red little, guys. Creepy little yep. guys. Yeah. Hello, I'm Mark. Uh, I do Tabletop Weekly and the High Roller stuff, and I am going to be the other Tau player <gasps> alongside Weeby Shin, me and mm. him are representing <laughs> the Weeb Force. So you're the only two that are playing the same. same. No, me other. and Tom now. Oh, oh Tom's switching to the real guys. Tom, stop playing, stop playing GC the tanks. He's, now just, he's like, yeah, I might just play tanks. Uh, so, <laughs> okay, so at least feels, me, and, me and Shin are the bad. only ones just playing the same thing now. Ben is doing Space Marines, but he's doing uh, Dark Angels. And they're very different yeah. to Space Wolves. Aren't they, Duncan? So I obviously I'm doing Space Wolves. I say you painted um, a lot. Do you want to talk us through it? Because you are you are you're. You so the, this completion. is my 500 points, except without this, this, and this. <laughs> Wait, what? So That's your 500 that points. That is 500, 500 points. 500 points. Well, you should move that into the center so people can see it a bit oh better. So you've God. got like you've got so some got bikers. My leader got? there, um, which I bottled look like Just me. Get him in there. <laughs> Oh my god, look at him. He's <laughs> basically done. Reckon, reckon what's, that hair. what's his little raven doing? He's just chilling. He's a little raven buddy. I um, love it. They're, they're basically space vikings, so I'm trying to get some ravens in there. I've got one I've got one on the tank as well, on top of the tank. Gun. Are you going to give them oh, viking esque nice. names, Duncan? Yeah. Oh, I love him. Oh, his little pet. I've, also put, I've recently just put these kegs of ale on the back, <laughs> which I haven't painted yet. <laughs> That's awesome. So I figured they want to have, have a drink after their. If I was a space marine, I would be a space wolf. So, space wolf is the only. Is that what you think you would be, Michael? You think you'd be a space yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, they're, they're the only chaps that can get drunk. There's a special, <laughs> like, there's a special the plant or something that lives on, on their home planet which bypasses their like toxin glands. Toxin glands. Oh. Oh my so they God. can get drunk. <laughs> I like how they had to write that in. They're like, how can we make them more like they're Vikings? Vikings? They, they can get uh, drunk. <laughs> we can't get drunk, so we've got to fix this somehow. I That's love that. I love all the retconning that they do yeah. for space marines. Like, oh, the, the blood angels, <laughs> they're, they're vampires because <laughs> they need blood. <laughs> So what was the reason to do space balls? Yeah, why, yeah, did you, yeah. why did Tell you? Us. Why did you initially want to do them? Were you just well, like, I like Vikings? So I started, pl I started collecting. So you started collecting <laughs> ages ago, right? So it was way before we even decided to do any of this, right? Yeah. I, I just what well, actually the reason was there was like a news article a while ago mm. that uh, Peter were like pissed off at Games Workshop uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. of space wolves yeah. and their uses of furs. Yeah. And then that made me look into space wars. I'm like, fuck, I wouldn't even want to collect these. <laughs> <laughs> so I started buying some. Oh, okay. animals. It's like an investment piece. You were like, oh my god, these rare furs oh. that they're using in Warhammer. <laughs> so that was, that was the actual reason I started. I actually remember that article. I think I came yeah. in a news yeah. thing because like, it was so obviously a kind of like just attention grab from Peter to try and like you know, get in the mainstream news. And Games Workshop were just like, I think they. Like they gave like a statement back, which yeah. was something like the lines of, "Oh, don't worry, they're you know, plastic, space wolves." Yeah. Or yeah, they're plastic. Or, the space wolves <laughs> you know, have a very you know ethical collection oh, method for their furs That's or something so like good. that. So what? Do they like come from like a wolfy planet or something? It's called Fenris. So yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> space Vikings. Yeah, wow. they like their wolves. Um, I'm, I'm drilling out the, the barrels of some guns because they look better that way. Oh, shit. That's oh, you're actually cool. drilling out the barrels. Yeah. So Holy drill, shit. The perfect size to drill out a barrel of a bolt gun. Going for the real kind of uh, like aesthetic. I love it. It just makes it look a bit better. Look. Yeah, it it's does. Got the, uh, it's got a hole at the end. I, this is painful. an attention to detail. Like, I, I won't Duncan, go to. Doug has really been collecting for so long now and doing this army. He's probably just mind-bogglingly bored and just like, why could, why could no one else finish and we play the game? <laughs> <laughs> play. Oh, poor Duncan. So what are you doing, Mark? What's going on? Uh, I, so I'm doing Tau, Tau uh, which, as everyone knows, are the anime space weebs of 40k. But those are um, fish people. Don't forget They that. are the fish men as well. They do um, look like fish. But I'm going to do, I'm doing the Farsight Enclave, uh, which I like to think are the moderately better Tau than the other Tau. Because... Mm. Um, there's always been this kind of law thing where the Tau ethereals, the kind of like leadership cast, basically use mind control on everybody to make sure that everybody's like not being a rebel and being wrong. Being a good boy. Yeah, being a good oh, boy. No. And uh, the Farsight Enclave basically are like they're on like a big long war campaign far away from their home planet. And they basically go, hang on a minute. 
those guys back home are fucking assholes! Yeah. And then they kind of break away. And they're kind of, you know, I just, they've got a cooler colour scheme. They're all red and shit, and oh, they just look pretty cool. Oh, awesome. um, what's like, what's in your 500 points then? What so my 500 points, I've got, I, I've actually finished painting my 500 points, but I don't have them all here. But I've, I've basically got 10 Fire Warriors, three of these guys, which are the, the Crisis suits. They're pretty cool. Um, they're really I've cool. I've got three of these guys, and then I've got a Commander suit, which is a better version of those. It's like a Crisis me- suit, but yeah, on steroids. It's like a Super Gundam. Super and uh, and that's it. That's my five hundred points. So have you named it's about like the same your... as mine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think like it's so, like compared to you two because you look at how much back. Like I don't even have all my so stuff much. here. Yeah, exactly. And then you yeah, 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 yeah. 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 all my stuff. I've got more infantry, a few more snipers, and some more like commander people. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, it's um, pretty ridiculous. It's just so cheap. What was it you were saying? Like guardsmen are like three points each or something. No, like I think they're uh, they're s- five points <laughs> each. I can't even remember. It's so like throw away. Yeah. That like it's literally stupid um, but, but they, they aren't are exactly guardsmen. they aren't exactly the best guys in the game so no. it's not they don't, they don't balancing balancing the things so what like have you got like any cool like anime names that you're going to name name your dudes after <laughs> or is there like an anime I feel like, that, like, I feel like this is a loaded by? question Barry I feel like you know that I've probably done <laughs> that <laughs> you know I know yeah. that you've done it uh, like, yeah I'm going to have I've got like I'm going to have like because uh, I want it to be very Gundam-esque so I'm yeah. going to have like special suits with special names so like I'm going to have one of my crisis suits with the all of the multi-melted guns and I'll probably call it like the Inferno suit <laughs> Know, Are you gonna launching like, Inferno regime or something? Are you gonna put a bit of kanji on there or not? No, no, no I'm not gonna go, go, gonna go, go that full, far. Full I'm meme. not gonna go that far. <laughs> not, it's not full meme. It's, I did, it's half meme. I did find like this. Um, I can't remember the name of it. There's a website that does kind of like custom, unique Games Workshop figures that you can add to your army, but mm-hmm. they're all like sexy female versions of things. So you get like oh, sexy inquisitors and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. I may, I may or may not be ordering one of those. <laughs> <laughs> some, some of the guards are pretty cool. Guards women, the guards, the guards women are really cool. The Tau are very kind of fetishy and. I was like, no, I'm okay, Fucking actually. Hell. Do they have any, like, sexy tyrannies? <laughs> sexy, <laughs> sexy, sexy sexy cool. I think if there is, Mike, you need to get them. Oh, my God. Definitely. So, Mike, you're doing tyrannids. I'm Why now... did you pick tyrannids? Hmm. Um, because I quite like, sort of, biology. I like the animals. I like the idea of this, like, evolving biomass. But also, no one else is doing tyrannids. <laughs> which is, uh, <laughs> which is, like, a nice... Which is about, yeah, I didn't, well. didn't want to be lame and have the same army as it's someone funny, else. It's funny, yeah, well, yeah, no, I mean, to be <laughs> honest, that's completely <laughs> fair. Wow. I mean, you know, I... I, I did have a bunch of Tau from long ago. It's not like I just bought them on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it is funny, like, I do love how, like, when everyone's going in the office, you do get that thing of, like, right, what, what's everyone else playing? Okay, oh, yeah, I'm going to play this because nobody else is doing it. Yeah. There's some vague hope that you're going to get some sort of, like, edge or, like, benefit to it or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's cool unique, unique, yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's not that much time you want it to be a bit standout either. Exactly. Yeah. But now, if you're going for like an anime theme, Mark, maybe I should do like a hentai. <laughs> <laughs> Just like oh, tentacles. Tentacles. Like, get some green stuff cool. and make some tentacles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should do. That'd be, be pretty dope. So what's in your 500 points then, Mike? Have you got, is that your 500 points there? So this is actually a bit more than 500 points. So it's got a lot. 12, <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not that much more, to be honest. So I've got 12 Hormagons. What are the Hormagons? Like, Can you put so them? So these, I'll put uh, some of them painted. So this is almost <laughs> finished now. So it is like, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're like the slicer dudes. Not yeah. slicer dudes. So they're like super basic in- infantry. They get a couple of attacks. They're really weak. They're the equivalent of like conscripts, basically. But yeah, yeah. So they're like throwaway troops. They're basically like kind they're, of me- they're mega cheap. They're right? mega like, cheap. Then I've got these guys. So this is. So I've got twelve hormigons, the cheap guys. They've got mm. eight gene stealers. Oh, they're cool. Who gene stealers are, are so cool. Oh, they, super badass. They got su- oh my god, that's the Cthulhu face. It's the, that's the Cthulhu face, it's like a Cthulhu face guy, yeah. But they're oh, like, they can get loads of attacks, but they're quite fragile. They're very glass cannon y. But if, if they make it into like close combat to melee of someone, they'll just basically tear anything apart. Well, the other thing you've got is um, there's quite a lot of psychers in Tyranids, right? So you can like boost them up with psychic powers yeah, and stuff. Is that like your main tactic for keeping them alive? The, well, basically, I'm just going to put them behind the Hormigons. Oh, okay. So, so the Hormigons, just, yeah. eat all the bullets, eat, eat the <laughs> Like the charge, yeah. and, then, uh, and then the gene stealers, the come, gene stealers come on in. Yeah, so and then later on, you can get units to help you like deep strike, so you can just set up like nine inches away, yeah, and then yeah, you can yeah. just. You charge. like a nidus worm, don't you, or something crazy like that? What's that? Sorry, like a worm that comes under the ground. Oh, yes. what's it called? Yeah. What? Uh, uh, the Tyrannifex or something? No, Tyragon. No, Trigon. Something like Trigon that. Trigon is one of them. There's like three yeah, yeah, yeah. different things which horrifying. can borrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, cool. that's my borrow next addition. It's like, a, it's like a drop pod, but it comes, it comes, it comes in concentration. concentration. Yeah. But, it, like, but it, it does like damage to it everything do, it comes up to. One, that's, that's not the drop pod unit, but there is one which is like a big oh, giant worm from like June, which just goes back, <laughs> back down and comes back up and goes back down. Spice must flow. Nice. Did you guys play when you were kids? Like, did you play a lot when you were younger? 
I mean, Colette's the one I never played. Oh, really? really? I played, well, I played with my cousin a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. we were never like very good at I, it. I tried to get into it, but it's not really a child-friendly hobby, is it? No. Unless you're like a ri- unless you work like twenty paper rounds or something. Yeah. Like, to be able to afford Warhammer. I always just take dinner money for it. That's why yeah. I just I <laughs> saved a lot of my I dinner money. I just get just go, like, go hungry. Models yeah. are more important than eating. Just got like beans on toast for like fifty p and save money for one fifty. Oh man, I was terrible. Like with my <laughs> lunches, I I remember got like my dinner money and I basically buy a can of coke from the tuck shop and that was my lunch. <laughs> and has fueled a lifelong addiction. Wow. Um, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, I would go down and spend it. I was. I think I was quite lucky because I um, my, a lot of my friends had lots of spare models that I kind of just cannibalized right and we knew the Games Workshop staff quite well and so they would you know they were actually pretty chill with us and let's just hang out in there and play games on our own um, so we would often just go down there like you know when you're a young teenager because I was a loser and didn't do anything exciting at the weekends <laughs> yeah. we would go down and just kind of hang out in Games Workshop and play our own games and stuff nice um, so I got to play a little so bit so you got some experience well, I, yeah but older editions like I'm still terrible I'm terrible <laughs> at strategy games Aww. I always I, I never quite I think like you look at people like Ben who you know is spaceboat champion or whatever yeah. um, and he's so good at thinking ahead and just being like okay well you're probably going to move here so if I move here that will counteract this and that and that blah 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 I just can't do it I'm just like ah uh, fuck you've got a big scary thing shoot it yeah, yeah. Kind of, my, my tactic so far when I've been a practice game I played with Lewis was just charge everything in the, <laughs> down the middle send it in and just hope that some of it survives oh, yeah. Yeah. everything the, the thing is so I play a couple of games at 500 points and 750 points and yeah, that, yeah. That, it's hard to be that tactical with that many points really. yeah, you can't yeah. so, really you've got to just kind of set up your units very intricately everything. and cleverly it's just Get it fucking in there. Yeah. 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 Smash. You don't really have flank because you, you haven't got enough yeah, units to flank. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you don't have cannon fodder units really and you don't have this and that. Well, there's also like the rules themselves don't lend themselves necessarily to flanks because it's not like you get benefits from striking in the rear or on the sides and things but, like that. But there's a lot, I think a lot of it is about like protecting your expensive units with your yeah. shit units. Yeah. yeah and yeah. right now you don't. We, we, we each, we've each only got like three units so we can't really play around like that I think like quite a lot of it from what I've seen like people chatting about like in you know when I've chatted to people online and stuff is it almost becomes a game of um, charge chicken as well like whoever can get that proper full big charge in first is probably yeah, going to win you get to that hey, please, please don't charge me yeah, yeah exactly well I'm kind of the same like <laughs> hey. me and Shin are going to be in the same boat like please don't come anywhere please near just, us I'm going to keep falling back <laughs> until you're shooting you we're all friends and you're all dead. And <laughs> Can you outrun a wolf, though? Uh, if we get in our Valkyrie, maybe. <laughs> How quickly do those things move, Duncan? Ten inches? Oh, my God. Oh, and they can advance, right? And, and he's, got like well. yeah, he's got and a hammer. He's got a hammer as well. And you will advance them because you haven't got guns. You haven't so. got guns, so you're going to advance them every single yeah. turn. Oh, my God. But you can't charge if you advance. Oh, can't you? Okay. Yeah. Have they announced the special perks for the Space Wolves yet? No, they haven't had the they... Codex yet. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, Space Marine Codex doesn't include, what is it, Space Wolves, Dark Angels, Blood Angels. All the big chapters. Uh, yeah, all the big chapters. Yeah, okay. no, so no, they've done all the minor factions, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all the spin-off ones, well, apart from Ultramarines. I mean, they've yeah. got the, you know, the, the basic Space Marines, but they haven't got like the weirder, different the weird, faction. Yeah, with their special fruitier, rules yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to see the way that Games Workshop's really changed um, over the last couple of years because, you know, I've been playing Fantasy Battle for a long time before I came to work at Yogg's. I used to do quite a lot of, like, big tournaments in Fantasy Battle. Oh, really? And, um, you know, that was kind of the era where they were just like, just churn out miniatures, don't care about the rules, fuck the game, we just want to make money. And I feel like in the last couple of years, they've kind of started to change that attitude and sort of focus more on the games themselves. Sigmar's rubbish though, isn't it? Sigmar is, well, apparently it's better now. Apparently really? they've changed a lot with like the General's Handbook and FAQs. They've kind of really sort of sorted it out, but it still, that was kind of what put me off playing for right. anything. But apparently, yeah, it's, um, I think that they've, you know, you look at like the stuff they're doing with 40k now and, it seems to be a lot yeah, better. Yeah, I think 8th is pretty good. Yeah, it seems to be. A lot of people seem to be really liking it as well. Yeah. I mean, there's competition now, which is probably why. Like, yeah. fancy flight games, yeah. doing loads of miniature games now. And I think they're probably actually every, really like, War the Machine and Infinity War. Yeah, like, so, just yeah, a new yeah, Kickstarter, Kickstarter miniature game every, every week. week. Like, every yeah. day, yeah. really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're getting big licenses as well. Like, mm. um, see, uh, Call Me or Not are just doing the Game of Thrones one as well. They're doing like a Game of Thrones miniatures game and they're getting like all these big licenses in. Who's doing Give of uh, uh, Call Me or Not. Oh, okay. Uh, looks wow. pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of, I, I think like... Cool Dragon model. Yeah, well, they haven't. I think like mm. the starter set is the Starks and Lannisters, but they absolutely will have like cool dragon cool miniatures for Daenerys walkers. and stuff and shit white walkers like and shit like that. But it's, I think it's like the rise of like 3D printing and being able to reduce the printing costs and stuff like that that we're seeing more of these companies. So yeah, they've got a kind of Games Workshop have got to change their tactics really. 
because before they were just like the only company in the world that could make anything that was of decent quality. Mm. Yeah. Whereas now, you know, they're not the only ones that can do that, so they kind of have to revise stuff. So it's good. I think it's, it's good. It's bringing it's the hobby good. back. Yeah, definitely. It's really good for us. Yeah, I'm amazed at how many people in the office kind of wanted to get back into it. Like when the kind of I think it's like out. one of those things that we did all do as kids, but just yeah, you, but you, you just the, the lack of we fun. Didn't have yeah. The yeah. Or it's the, like um, or the friends that did it as well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's funny. So many of the hobbies, which where we like every month, there's like a new trend in the office, <laughs> and it's all this stuff like which you would have loved to have done as a kid. Yeah. And we're essentially just a bunch of big Star kids with some money. Yeah, you know, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Back Tamagotchi, <laughs> like Tazos. Were Tazos basically the same thing as Pogs? I can't remember. They were. You got them free and crisps, didn't you? And they had no, little notches in the side. So you could like draw them together. Man, I, I, was, I had all the Star Wars Tazos. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not surprised to hear. <laughs> you, you strike me as a tiny. I used to go into the shop and I'd like feel up the crisps, oh, like, look at them, put a packet that have one in. I was somebody who I think it was Nina was telling me like um, some cheeky f- retail stores will weigh like booster packs, booster boxes, and card packs of like CCGs. Oh, and really? way, like if you get like certain foil rares and stuff like that, they weigh like ever so slightly more, and then they'll wow. take those out and then open them up and then resell them online. That's bullshit. Oh, Isn't that it's yeah, just that bullshit, is, that's right? Like bullshit. That is. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's yeah. stores just do stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> you can buy from the Yorkshire store. You can buy from the store. We definitely don't I'll do that. We're selling board games <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, we do. We sell board games. We sell this. Fantastic. Oh, look at Mike. Oh, oh, sales my I like the fact that, like, like, as soon as we got Mike on, like, it's so easy to make him go into <laughs> salesman mode. I'm not, I can't believe you're not all wearing merch, guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. sorry. I did almost wear. Uh, I did almost wear some merch today, and I was like, oh well. I'll wear some other company's merch instead. <laughs> we should we should definitely sell um start selling all our Destiny singles that we don't need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just not start a single. Oh my god, that's such a good Imagine idea. Imagine the gathering <laughs> ones as well, like from all the uh, yeah. videos that we've done. Oh, we, we sold those sell for those. charity, though, didn't we? Oh, we did, we yeah. We sold them in the charity yeah, auction, because right. that's what a lot of cards. I think Steve went in and did some picking and picking <laughs> yeah, as well. Steve, Steve loves it. Pick, yeah. He was like, oh, I'd like, like, oh, love oh, a nice card there. Oh, yeah. that one there, yeah. Oh, that black locus, I will. <laughs> so I, bought, I bought some technical paints, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, which ones? So I got Spirit Stone Red. Oh, nice. That's like the paint, gemstone one, you right? You paint over a, a silver base and it makes it look like a red gemstone. Oh, nice. No way. I'm going to try it out. That's pretty. I need to find a guy with a gemstone. I've not used I think I've got the blue one of that, but I've not used it yet. Um, I actually really like the technical paints. I used the Blood for the Blood God one on some of my Guild Ball matches oh, yeah, and it cool. looks really good. I also got like a metal corrosion one, like an oily one. Oh shit. I tried that out. I think I tried that out on the bike. The so how, bikes, do they, how do they work? Uh, what do you do? Boost the things. Oh, uh, yeah, nice. I love kind of adds like a really dirty look yeah. to it. It's nice. I don't know how they work. I think actually the technical paints and the washes from Games Workshop are like magic. really good. Like, I know a lot of people prefer Vallejo paints and stuff like that, um, but I still think the washes from GW are still the best. Yeah, they've got good washes. And they've they, they got glazes as well, which is a bit weird. Which I'm not really mm. sure the difference between a glaze and a wash. So it's, it's like a varnish, isn't it, a glaze? Well, it's, I think, like, I've seen them use... There's a girl I watch on Twitch who does, like, uh, miniature painting, and she uses glazes for things like um, doing, like, really subtle wet blending, so that kind of gradient effect and stuff like that. Because uh, okay. it's like a super thin paint. You can mm. build it up in the layers. Oh, I see. Um, really, really clever stuff. Like, some of the painters out there are so fucking good. I actually need... Maybe we should do like a Warhammer surgery segment. I <laughs> actually need someone's advice. Like, how do you think I can <laughs> fix oh, this you're so guy? Gee. I've got two of them now. I've got a couple of them. So basically... <laughs> That's just a base what there. <laughs> so what is going on? We need on a little there? X on the table. Okay, just, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's so fine. there's a base there and there's a Hormigan there. Basically, he came off... Pin him. Uh, pin him. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, how yeah. Do I, what do I use? All right, so you've got... How do I do it? I've got a stuff here, right? So you, oh. I've got a paper clip, which you cut a small bit off. Yeah. Yep. You've got a drill... And you got some clippers. There we go. Oh, look at Amazing. this. Amazing. And, okay. and some super. We'll come back to this in 10 minutes. <laughs> we'll see. Don't make joke. Like miniature fruit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just pin the whole thing into so his pub. Oh. I've been buying like little resin things that aren't like plastic. So, mm. like the barrels in the back of the tank that like, I just painted black are resin. Oh, okay. And the bird as well was resin. And other things um, are resin. And the only way to get them, they can't stick them with plastic glue. Yeah, you've got to do super and glue. And super glue is kind of shit, mm. as we all know. Yeah. So, what you can do is you drill. A hole and then Drill you put, hole and put, put a pin in it, it and then super glue it and it keeps it like a bit stronger. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I, I bought custom custom heads for all of my dudes. <laughs> so I would use custom a heads. single apart from the, are they all, the sergeant heads. Are they all resin heads then? They're all resin heads, yeah. Super glue worked pretty well on them. So I got like little boonie hats for all of my Imperial yeah, Guard. Because cool. you hated the American football helmet. I hate the silly. American football helmet so so much. <laughs> uh, on my like flamers and stuff, I've got like 
uh, like dumb, dumb kind of World War II tin can hats. And then I don't know if I'm going to see it. Because you wanted to go with like a Vietnam kind of yeah. like war hat theme, didn't you? Oh, you feel? can't really see him, but he's got like a beret on and stuff. Like it's pretty, it's pretty dope. Yeah, I like the boonie hats. They're really cool. They just look so much, so much more badass than the stupid Cadian he- helmets. <laughs> yeah, they well, look like they're like ready to just go in and die. The Cadian like, helmets are like the ones from Starship Troopers, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just oh, they remind me of like those um, you know, those like um helmets you wear, see Americans wear at like sports games where they have two cans on either side, <laughs> and they're like drinking. Yeah, that's that's kind of I just get like flashbacks to that, and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> this is so fucking dumb. Well, the, these guys don't look cool at all. Well, the Imperial Guard are a little bit like um space rednecks, aren't they? Really, they just kind like, of are. You yeah, know, let's get the dumbest you know the kind of backwater planet nobodies and just give them a gun go yeah. on boys sometimes not even yours. give them a gun yeah. Just, yeah. just send them in mm-hmm. like fuck right. <laughs> I love the Imperial Guard it is really dumb. There's a really fun um, RPG system called Only War, which is a Warhammer 40k one, where you play as guardsmen, but you each have to roll up two characters because it's so easy to die, and you completely randomly generate what equipment you're given as well. Oh, so you can have like really Jesus. good like aiming stats, and they're like, oh, here's your chainsaw, off you go. <laughs> oh. um, it's really funny. That sounds fantastic. It's What's really it called? Only War, it's Only called. War, it's one okay. of the 40k RPGs. What do you fight? Uh, the, well, that's the funny thing is because they're obviously your shitty guardsmen. Even like a single orc is like really fucking scary. <laughs> so like half the time you're like fighting like be. two or three orcs, and it's like a unit of ten, and they're just shitting themselves. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're like, ah! Nice. So, yeah. What are you working on, Duncan? Because you've pretty much got most of your well, stuff done, right? I'm like... doing, I did some gems. I painted them silver. I painted the barrels black. <laughs> so you've just got like little touches. So how much have you got finished that isn't here? I've got a couple of drop pods, a storm wolf. Dreadnought. How much, how much have you played? Are you, are you, are you, played like three games. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, you are holding man. out. We should get some games in Duncan, because I think yeah. I've got my 500 points ready to go, so I can play with oh, my 500. Can we play a 1v1v1? Oh, we should. Yeah, you can do multiplayer games. Definitely. Can there we, we do, go. Can we do, uh, no, as in like right now, can we really pick a figure and we'll play a 1v1? <laughs> Just like 1v1. Uh, I'm going to pick this. Okay, I, think, uh, I think a Valkyrie. Uh, I'm going to take my life, Tyrant. Okay, well, it's time. Duncan's got a guy on a motorbike. Let's go. Let's add the, 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 the epic duel. The epic duel. This is a, a wolf priest. He's pretty badass, actually. Oh, I know, yeah. He'll He'd probably fuck up my Valkyrie. Let's be honest. Uh, I I kind of like the idea, that Duncan. You could paint yours up to be like a like a motorcycle gang, like from Terminator, like with black leathers. You could just have like a really sort of grungy space wolves oh, all done as like gay bikers kind of thing. So like cool. that. Just have Freddie Freddy, Freddy Mercury at the front leading them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of going for a bikey thing, but I'm not really sure. Like bikies aren't really like that vikingy. I don't know. It just feels cool. It kind of I don't know. Like I think the it's Viking, the closest you're gonna get because it's almost like cavalry, isn't if, it? In forty k. Oh, fuck. If, like oh my god, that's existed. a lot of blue. Can we get a, can we, can we get a close up that's on it. this? I blew on myself. Spillage. Duncan's <laughs> 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 blue ball oh, no. himself. Yeah, so really, has anybody had like a disaster in their model making process? Like not yeah. really. Like no. have you accidentally cut an arm off a space marine when you're meant to just be trimming something? Oh. I sp- yeah, definitely. <laughs> I spray painted oh, no, all Mike's of my models black. <laughs> and then I decided that I wanted to change my color scheme, oh, so God. I had to take Strip all of the paint. the paint off the models. Yeah, which you can you can you do. Did that? Yeah, like you basically exactly. you soak Boy. it them in Dettol for like two hours. <laughs> oh my you god! Get a toothbrush to like brush all of the paint off. Like I spent hours and I spent probably in total like four or five hours on twelve hormigons like removing the paint. Like, I don't know why, just, just don't paint your models the wrong color. No. Like really, be certain. Twelve hormigons. Yeah, twelve hormigons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Managed to like, do yeah, two hours. Yeah, it's like fuck, fuck me. It's because uh, Trot did the same thing with some War Machine models, and he was the one that found out the Dettol method, and he had the same thing of just like it just took him so long with his toothbrush just scrubbing away desperately oh, trying to get the bangs off it ruins your toothbrush you that can't is, use yeah, that you can't use <laughs> oh shit I should tell Trot um, <laughs> too late no I think I've not had a real disaster the only thing I kind of regret doing is I'm, I built my battle suits before we even talked about doing this and before the new edition came out actually and I really wish I'd magnetised all their guns yeah, because yeah, yeah. I have included some shit guns I know, on I my dreadnought I, I built the whole thing and it's not even legal now <laughs> why not <laughs> this is, you can't have the combination, can't of, have guns a combination of guns I, uh, so, I've, so I've bought a new dreadnought and I've Oh man, built every single shit. arm piece separately and yeah. then magnetise them magnetise them that's the best way to do it that's what I've done with this guy as yeah. well I've magnetised his guns on the ghost keel um, 
because I noticed that Shin has gone with a very optimal range, uh, optimal setup for his uh, battle suits. Mm. And mine does not compete. Oh, <laughs> that is like classic Shin, isn't it? When we're playing Destiny, Shin would be the first person to come over to me all the time and accuse me of net decking. And he would just turn up with this <laughs> totally, totally net decking, like buying <laughs> signals off the internet. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, he'd accuse you for a week while it's signals were alive, yeah, and then yeah, he's like, well, that's that's it. It. everyone was net decking already. Yeah. Oh my god. Shin, if you see this, you're a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Never playing with your Genshin. So I've got this special snow here. Mate. Oh yeah, this is the snow paint. So right? that's what I've been using so you on the should bike. Show, show I've been like putting it on the front of the bike so it looks like they're driving through snow. Oh, I do oh, like wow, it. That's really nice. the wheels and stuff. Oh, super cool. So it's, it's called Valhelen Blizzard. I, I like, kind of just want to eat it. Just like it's lumpy, <laughs> I just, I just kind of want to eat it. Stuff. Barry, I will, I will give you three pounds. Can I have that if I, if I eat no, it? No, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to eat it. I think it's just PVA. It's just, just PVA. It's just PVA, Barry. Just, it feels like it's just PVA and, and like white powder. Uh, it's Hoover, I ate my glue. I ate the white powder and now I feel funny. <laughs> <laughs> Who just, in the office would be Ralph Wiggum? Who's the equivalent? Uh, <laughs> uh, animated Kieran. Animated oh, Kieran, yeah, easy. Definitely. <laughs> who, who would be Bart Simpson? Uh, probably Barry. No, Shin. He's the rude. Oh, yeah, no, Shin. Shin, yeah. Shin yeah. would be yeah. Bart Actually, Simpson. That, that's easy. Fair. Easy. That's fair. Eat my shorts. Like, you can just imagine Shin saying that. You can just imagine him wear, wearing the little, little, <laughs> little orange T-shirt and blue shorts every day, like skateboarding in. Just, <laughs> what a bastard. And he always wears a hat as well. He always I wears know Bart didn't do that, did he? He doesn't wear a hat. So, doesn't he? Sometimes he wears a hat. He's got a few episodes. Yeah. yeah. That um, iconic spike. He would be Homer. Terps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Donuts, Marge. beer. Who's Marge? Yeah. Oh. Um, Lewis is Marge. <laughs> is <it> Lewis Marge? <laughs> Duncan, you're the only one I think that can yeah. ever <laughs> say that. <laughs> say. <laughs> Who's Lisa? Lisa. Um, no, who's musical? Sips. Sips. Uh, so Sips. No, Sips is Grandpa Simpson. What are you on oh, about? Definitely. Oh, Abraham or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's musical? Like Martin or somebody like that? Martin. Like, Martin. Like, yeah. like somebody who's that, like musical. That does fit. Yeah, I, think. I like that. Um, I think she's quite tryhard. I think Humes are a bit of a tryhard. Am I? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you're fucking Lisa. Like, yeah, I think you're Lisa. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try to be less tryhard then. I don't really want to. Who's Maggie? Um, Who's the youngest? Probably you. Wow. Okay, I'll be Maggie. Fuck it. It's canon. <laughs> she killed Mr. Burns. <laughs> so she is canon. a murderer. She's she a murderer. is a murderer. Oh. Who's Mr. Burns? Uh... Rich. Rich. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the rich old man. Yes. Let's go. So, definitely. So then who's Smithers? Uh, <laughs> oh, ben. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shit, we can do this out. Tumblr's probably having a fucking field day right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, um, so out of everybody in the office like all the armies that are being played who do you not want to play like who's the one you're most worried about playing against honestly he sat across from me oh really uh, fuck, I don't think minutes. I've watched Mike destroy Smith yeah and it but, was absolutely brutal that wasn't even fun was it I, no. I felt bad for Smith I don't think Smith slept that night <laughs> like it was really, <laughs> really, really was you brutal I don't think I wow. really knew that. it was pretty upsetting but that was but Smith's list I played against was not optimised against mine at all. It was all like the opposite list you want to run against. we've got like, such a wide variety of stuff. It's hard in to, yeah. the, mm. like, various armies. Also, I kind of like how we have like red, red, blue, green. Oh, I just, the armies look pretty. Yeah, yeah. It's looking good, nice. guys. We're looking good. Yeah, I, don't, I think it's pretty difficult to optimise the list. Well, you can't. You've got 500 points and you're not so able to change it. Yeah. yeah. It's almost better to go and get go with go an all colours list. All, yeah. which, is, which is cool, really. Yeah. That's the nice thing about the format yeah. we're doing. Well, yeah. But it's also the annoying restriction about the format we're doing. So what are you guys adding next what's like after your 500 points what's going to be the first thing that you really want to add to, that, back. to that thing is that is that the uh, the tank yeah the tank, scary tank. tank. Um, I'm actually going to try gun. right go on so I bought some forge world it's because it's not oh shit. oh shit forge world stuff wait no it, was that gun 7,000 pounds there was, there, was a, there was a gun that came with uh, the tank which is the same but it doesn't okay. cool. this is like the forge world version which okay that's fine yeah so it's just a cosmetic cooler. thing but um, it has 12 shots strength 5 Ooh, wow, that's pretty <laughs> nasty. Yeah, what's just one wound? Zero AP? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think it's not zero, I think it's minus one AP, I'm not sure. Yeah. Minus one AP. I mean, that's but still. Not it's good. just shits out bullets, that thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, I think for me, I want to. I desperately want to try and get my get the battalion so I can get some command points because I can't get any other. Oh ones, yeah, really. so what if you made it into a battalion? No, I can. I can at the seven fifty. Yeah, I, so I, I, I can... might do the uh, the triple fast attack one. 
Oh, the Triple Threat one, one. Yeah, the yeah. one. Come problem on, is the, the bikes I want to use are elites. Oh shit! So no. yeah, so I mean you can do the Vanguard one. Sure, you can do yeah. the um, yeah, three three elites. One command and three elites. That's a command point. The problem is the wolves are fast attack. Mm. So it's like I want to use the wolves. I want to use the bikes and. Yeah, it doesn't really you want fit. a good mixture of things. That's kind of my problem as well. Like, I want a lot yeah. of elites, but I also want a lot of other stuff. So, wait, am I the only person who's fitting a battalion? In 500 points? Yeah, points. you're yeah, the only one crazy. that can, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a made for like 2,000 points list, really, isn't it? The battalion. I think you can do yeah. battalion, you can do at 750 to 1,050, uh, 1,500, sorry. Um, and then you can fit in other stuff as well, but it's very hard in the 500 points. Yeah. But I think those command points can really, like, three re rolls a game is, yeah, pretty, is pretty massive. Good. So it's like, when you get, you get three re rolls. Anyway, do you? Yeah, you get, you get three you points. Get three. Oh, do you? Yeah, Whatever you start with three. As long as, oh, you have, as long as you have a war forge or something, battle forge, as long as you have a battle forge, yeah. Come on. Oh shit! Okay, that's and then you like get three it. more for having a battalion. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get mine up to a battalion, but I do get to add in my little shield wall tie line. I've got the box here. Oh, I get to add God. this thing in. So got an, got an anime yeah. wall. Yeah, basically, it's like, like a, it's like Attack on Titan. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like a little Halo. Oh, that um, is really cool. Chest high wall. Um, it's not particularly great, but the thing I like about it is it moves. Like they sit on it and then they can oh, really? remote what control it. Just back. give you not a, a So same. it counts as a vehicle. It counts as a transport. Oh. So it's um, ten wounds, toughness six. Uh, it can't shoot, and if you fight it in close combat, you hit automatically. Yeah. Um, but what it does is it's uh, yeah, it's like a four up armor save, uh, ten wounds. Toughness six. Any armor saves of a six, you reflect back and do a mortal wound oh to God, whatever's what? shooting at you. So that's kind of why I like it. Like it's like bouncing the shots back. That sounds mad. But on fire warriors, it's just you know it gives them a little bit of protection because they are so. Yeah, but does it just give them like regular proof. cover save? Or? No, it's just a transport. Like you basically have to shoot at that before you can shoot the fire warriors. But can the fire warriors shoot? shoot yes, they can it. shoot from uh, it. Yeah, it's uh, open target. That sounds really well, good. Yeah, that is really yeah, good. It's really good. That's awesome. And it's like seventy points as well. It's like mega cheap. Could it just be climbed over during a charge? You just hit it automatically. You can't. You have to fight it first. Okay. But you have to shoot. Can the fire warriors shoot you if you're attacking the wall? Now that's interesting thing because normally you can't because you can't shoot if they're within an inch but this thing has a special rule like I think it's the fortification rule where it says you may shoot at an enemy unit within one inch of this model right. oh, so yeah. I think oh, you can like cool. shoot over it as anything that's in close combat that so I think really it, cool. I think it's a good choice I mean god knows some rules lawyer or somebody will say technically it doesn't work that way well, I don't think we're playing that that no, uber, exactly. uber ultra seriously so hopefully it should be a nice little way to protect my squishy fish men awesome what about you guys what are you thinking of adding Barry uh, another Valkyrie honest, I just think Valkyries look so sick they do look good and I might just start um, so I kind of you know the Olguns and the Bulguns yeah 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 yeah. yeah. I want to I want to do I've got this crazy crazy idea <laughs> of doing filling Valkyries with Bulguns and Olguns <laughs> <laughs> but I want my Bulgans and Ogrins, because obviously my army is not standard, mm. so I want them to have like normal sized Cadian heads. So they look what? like they're just like jacked up on steroids and just like these like. Whoa. Do you remember the Super Mario movie with the, the Goombas with the tiny heads yeah, yeah, and then the yeah, big yeah, bouncer yeah. bodies? Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. the thing well, I can imagine. Just like that. I just have these like that's horrendous like monster drugged up oh people just God. jump out of uh, Valkyries <laughs> and attack people. I just think it's so. That sounds amazing. It's just such a funny idea that I just got to do it. But yeah, I'm just going to add more Valkyries because. We fixed him. The pinning worked. It actually, oh it's way better God. than it does when it's standing on it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you didn't just. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 just actually, I, I, like him, I like him being pinned He's like in the flying. Air. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. He's like, He's like, like lunging. Mid, mid leap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Looks cool. But I'm like, what are you adding? So, first of all, I want to go down the swarm. So, my first 250 points is just going to be more Hormagons, more Gene Stillers, more Tony Boris, just because I want a big swarm like running across the table. You want to fill out. And then after that, I'm going to be getting the Trigon Prime. What was I talking about earlier on? So oh, can, the big, big one. can like deep strike with it. Yeah, and it yeah. Just nice. go in there and start shit. fucking shit up, basically. Man, the one I'm worried about most playing against is actually Lewis, because Necron seems so strong. Like, Duncan, you've played a couple of test games. I beat him. Oh, you beat him? Yeah. Oh, nice. It just seems like the the re resurrection rules or whatever just seems so good You've now. Got to kill him real it's quick. I I think the only reason I beat him is because he picked a monolith which has four hundred points. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that doesn't seem like a great. It just idea. has like yeah. not enough guns to be worth it. Yeah. Um, Did you just so, focus fire it down? No, I, didn't, I just ignored it. You just it. ignored it. That's, <laughs> that's basically. I suppose if you're playing now. objectives, yeah, yeah, you can just ignore that, can't you, and win? Yeah, what? It just walks at like one inch. Yeah, six, in, turn. six inches. And oh, okay. It's got some pretty nasty guns on it, can but it not charge? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it can. <laughs> what does it do? Just run things the over. Thing is, I, the first time I played him, I lost, but I, I charged it with all my wolves, mm. and it's got a special rule where if you charge it, it can open up its fucking like portal door and like. 
I'm you roll for all the guys free. you attack with, and they can just go through and die. Oh, that's so <laughs> awesome. That's two so of my cool. wolves went through this door and disappeared forever. <laughs> Evil Stargate. Well, you in, can't charge it, in, you can't really shoot it because it's got 20 wounds. In the just fl- ignore it. In the fluff, where does the portal lead to? Like where the, it's like their tomb men, world. The tomb world, oh god. Yeah. You know whose army I think is going to be fucking terrifying? Who's? Smith's. What is he playing? So he's going orcs, orcs, but he's uh-huh. going to build this, or- this army which is basically all orc boys and special characters which buff them. But oh, basically, fuck. the orc boys turn to like five, cost five point units which get four strength, four attacks in melee. <laughs> Like that's like that's a gene stealer, but it's just five points. Jesus. And, and their leadership value is the amount of models in their unit. Yeah. yeah. And they can't. And the main character guy has the same abilities as the Imperial Guard, where you can just kill a single character oh, if they fail yeah, a yeah. leadership test. It's just like if they get if he gets into melee with that unit, it's like, fucking it's terrifying. Yeah. So you can't kill him through attrition. Like you just have to. You just have to. Do, yeah. If he shit. charges you, you're fucked. Basically. Yeah. You basically what you need. Even, even is me is like a turreted player. Like you can't. Lots of flamers or anti anti infantry stuff that can just yeah. wipe out yeah. large numbers of them. Or something just get away. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard though because like actually orcs can move quite quickly they when they want to, especially if he's got like trucks and stuff to load them up on. I think oh, he's going to take trucks. Yeah. That's my favorite thing about orcs. I always love the idea of doing a Mad Max style army, which is just like ramshackle trucks and like bizarre looking vehicles yeah, just running around with those, like Gorka Morka style. Yeah, that's cool. They've got so much personality. The orcs, haven't they? Yeah. That's, that's the one thing I regret about playing Tyranids. I don't feel there's much. You can't really do much to them to give them much personality. Because yeah. yeah. they're just like the hive mind, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. And you can't even really like um, sort of kit out your units like how you want to be. They just sort of come with whatever they have. There's very little options for customization there. Yeah, it's mainly in the characters, right, that you can do stuff. Like you can give them various yeah. like biomorphs Bio- or like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. evolvations. What, what is a Tyranid name? What could I call my, my hive type? <laughs> They've got like names like the Red Death and stuff. The Red, stuff, yeah, they? Red like, Baron, like special characters yeah, and things yeah, like that. Because yeah, yeah. it's more like the names that the other they races beat, have given yeah, them. Yeah, which have given them. Oh, oh One Eye. Oh, One Eye. God, <laughs> yeah. He was. I remember him. Got shot in the face of a melter gun. Oh, with an eye. I'm going to call my hive tyrant Smith Fucker. <laughs> like, I think that's Smith the appropriate name fucker. for it. Yeah, was, what else could I say? Beware the jaws of Smith Fucker. <laughs> I actually have an important question uh, that I know Ben and Tom have answered before. Uh, do you guys lick your paintbrushes after you wipe them clean with I'm water? I'm not a slut. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. See, look, Duncan yeah, knows. Nice point. Exactly, it's about the point. Yeah. You've got to refresh the point, mate. Mm, no, don't, don't, don't believe me. Especially, no, yeah, especially don't. before you put them away. Because <laughs> the saliva kind of like dries a little bit and it makes like a bit of brush Seal. Bit crispy because it stays in like a pointy shape. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good tip. I don't think I've never seen Games Workshop's Duncan's like what are you <laughs> recommend about? licking. Like, is it paint licking is a very is common thing. Really? really, it's really common. Also, it tastes really good. Does it really? It, taste comes, up good? On, it comes up on my uh, stream a lot because people are like, is he licking his paintbrush? You, you, <laughs> look, you look a bit like a paint licker, man. I, oh, I know. <laughs> 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 I'm <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> like a yeah, I don't so like a window yeah. licker. Well, <laughs> <You're wrong laughs> <a> window licker. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever been to the, the Warhammer HQ, the oh, actual not base up in Nottingham? No, That's actually know. quite a fun day out. We used to do a lot of tournaments there for Fantasy Battle. Uh, they have the Throne of Skulls um, ta- uh, battles there. And uh, they've got like a miniatures museum, which has got like all the dioramas from like the old white dwarfs, and, like oh, all the armies and stuff. Awesome. And they've done up like a really nice kind of display cabinet. And oh, then you've, cool. they've got like a massive space with like... 20, 30 gaming tables all with scenery that you can just go out and play on. Use, oh, and then they've got a, a bar called Bugman's which is like a, a just a good pub like an independent pub. Oh, nice. oh. Um, and you can just go and sit in there. Bugman's bar. It's pretty good. That sounds really cool. That it's actually, cool it was actually a really point. fun thing that we did. Yeah, like we used to go down there me and my mates we'd go down there and um, like get like a little B&B stay the night to play the two days of games and stuff. Amazing. It was a good laugh. So I made some pretty I made two pretty cool things for my custom, my army custom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little some little, some little custom Barrett 50 cows oh. out of some kind. Oh shit, really? Holy fuck. Uh, out of a las gun and a kind little donation from Duncan of a standard from the front of a bike. Oh, oh shit. Nice. That's pretty, pretty dope. And then I've also, I spent about four hours making bamboo trees. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you talking about your that's, bamboo That's for bamboo bases. trees? Yeah, yeah, my little bamboo trees. And that took four hours? Uh, I have like an entire box oh, of about okay. 500 what, what of them. Are those uh, they, are, they are toothpicks painted and then split up and then oh, re-stuck oh, together yeah. to have the oh, notches. Oh, yeah, it looks yeah, like they've got a stem from like a sting in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah it looks pretty, great. They're pretty yeah, cool. they're pretty cool. I look on the bases actually. And so yeah, once you have like every single person yeah. has looks like, like bamboo trees. Like a bamboo forest. Yeah, that's really that's cool. That's the plan. Yeah, so that's it. I was like, oh my God, how many do I need for like 
basically two per base. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, this is actually quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say, like, that's the one thing I'm going to skimp out on is just basing, because, oh, man, well, I'm just using the Basing makes a lot of difference, though, I think. Yeah, it does complete, complete the look, doesn't it? I say, Mike, are you going to do some egg sacks? Because yeah. we, we, haven't, mm. we, we, we haven't made any, like, t- uh, egg t- sacks. objective markers yet, have we? Yeah, definitely want should... egg sacks. Yeah, like I've, got, I've got some spare cakes yeah, yeah. that we could use. Ooh, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, the beer. Barrels of beer. <laughs> oh, fuck. I really like that. Yeah, we should, we should each make um, some objective markers like, around our army's theme. Mm. I think that'd be really nice for videos. Yeah. So this is my ghost keel. Let's see if I can get him in ghost there. keel. It's kind of a big... How many points is that, big boy? He's actually not that expensive, would you believe? I think, like, with his equipment, he works out to be... 175 to 200 points. Oh wow! He's I can't remember boundary. what it is. Yeah, he's but I mean he's not super strong. He's the he's the stealth version. So the Riptide is the big, like massive loads of fucking guns guy. Yeah. Yeah. This guy is the one who is um he's the stealth suit basically. Like you can infiltrate him up to nine inches away from an enemy unit. He's pretty um, cool. He's got like a bunch of different weapons. Uh, he's really hard to shoot. So he has a trying to shoot at him. You have a minus one to hit. And then as long as he has um, a, at least one stealth drone with him, he gets a, another minus one to hit him. Oh, so so it's basically you, you're a minus two to shoot him if you're basically Fuck. shooting at him. Um, but yeah, he's okay. He's not like mega, mega strong, but he's... Um, I really like For the, the points value, he's cool. I like, he, the, I like the way he looks. That's the thing. Yeah. It's like compared yeah, to the others. Cool. He it's looks cool. like um, a Titanfall Yeah, mech. he does. There's so much like movement in that model as well. It looks yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it's just landed. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really well, I kind of posed him because you can. Uh, okay. I was originally going to have his like, gun arm up, but I kind of like the idea of him yeah, just landing. Kind yeah, of yeah. Thing. Yeah. You right there? You've yeah. broken a microphone. He's <laughs> wheeled over it. <laughs> Are you so good? Yeah, we're good. How many points did you say he was? I think he's about 175, maybe up to about 200. Okay, I don't nice. think he's more than 200. How, how many wins does he have? It's between 10 and 14. Okay, quite a lot. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty tough. I think he's like toughness six or seven, maybe six. That's perfect. That's just in my like hive tyrant's kill range. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly. I know. Yeah, I knew yeah. that Mike was just running the numbers in his head, just like, all right, can I kill this? Can I kill this? Right, will I kill this thing? Right, it's nice. kind of like you know, smashing against each other, Titan style. Titan style, yeah, definitely. Yeah. His um his gun, the one that I've equipped him with at the moment, is the I think it's called the cyclic ion raker or something. Okay. Yeah. It's assault six. Uh, strength seven, AP minus one, strength or you seven. can overcharge it, which means that if you roll any ones to hit, you take a mortal wound for each one. Yep. Um, but it becomes assault D six, mm. strength eight, uh, minus two, I think AP, and it does D six damage per hit. Wow, <laughs> and that's, that's assault six. Yeah, uh, or uh, the overcharge version is assault D six. D six. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So kind of that's you exchanging it. Could be but even terrifying. if you just fire it normal, it's like assault six, strength seven. Yeah. Well, that's strength seven. Yeah. Ouch. How do you guys think I should paint the swords on my? Well, they're bone I, swords, right? They are bone swords. But I think so you just paint. I think you just have. You, you need a highlight same. green. You need to have a highlight green in that army. I don't know. I feel as though the big green swords could be pretty fucking dicky. Uh, and yeah, it's too, I think it's too much. I think basically, I've got, given all these guys like red claws. If you guys carry on with that, are you going to do like the carapace on like his middle bit here? Are you going to do that bone as well, or are you going to leave that as is? I might leave it as is. Mm. I yeah, if you're going to leave that is, I would do these as like the bone do those red, But then skin. how can I highlight them? Do you actually do like green like dripping off them? Like try, 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 try something. Or blood. Try, um, you could do blood gore on them as well. Try doing silver and then try putting this over and see what that looks like. Okay, let's do it. Because I reckon that might be Let's cool. do have a bit of an experiment. Like ruby. Ruby, oh, ruby ruby. Okay, oh yeah, so that's the glaze. So that's yeah, it's that's going to be see-through. Yeah, that's going to make it look like a gem. Okay. So it might look like okay. a ruby kind of we'll shiny, spiky thing. Okay, awesome. Let's try it. The only problem with that I find, like, Harry, I don't know, have you painted any of your Valkyries yet? No, mate, no. Man, I'm I find doing, like, these doing big it. models, like, it's knowing what to do with all the little gubbins and, like, the yeah. little bits and pieces. So, I, my plan is quite literally to airbrush the shit out of it yeah. and then wash the fuck out of it and yeah. then pray that it looks all right. <laughs> it's and, like, just, and just be like, there, was a, there are a million rivets. Yeah, that's it, like, the little rivets and stuff like that. I mean, it looks amazing. I, I love the, the tank. Valkyrie. Yeah, it takes a long time. Like, it just looks... Fucking badass, but like there was so much going on, and then I'm gonna paint the inside as well, and it's like, fuck. So what do you just do with all like the open panels and stuff? Like, how much detail know. and decor and stuff do you do? I think I think to be honest, I think you just hope you get black in it, and just hope it's fucking passes. Your other crisis suit looks really good though. Thanks, the, man. The, the, yeah, the these ones lines. I think are just about the right size that they're not too detailed. Get, get, get them in the Valkyrie. 
<laughs> can you ride it? <laughs> Look at him. There he's a surfer. Surfing oh USA. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, that's we're teaming cool. up, Mark. That's awesome. And we're also getting, no, that looks cool. And, and we've got a gilly guy, and he's in there, too. And they're having a party. Oh, the gilly guy looks amazing. Yeah. I've not seen him before. Show me gilly, him. Gilly man. I've got a few gilly boys. Oh, they look great. Is that green stuff? Is yeah, it clothes? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks great, Barry. I'm going to have little, oh, wow. little gilly snipers lying down. They're all black, so it's beautiful to see on camera. But, but yeah, it should be And pretty, then you've given them the old... Um, the black sniper face. rifle. Yeah, and the old, uh, just, uh, just, just an old, empty face. Just empty face. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit more badass empty face. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah, your, yeah. Really cool. Commis, this is Commissar. That is my Lord Commissar. you got two of them. Uh, yeah, I like, I like the, honestly, I prefer the Commissar with the beret to the one with the big hat. The one with the beret just looks a bit more... Are you going to get the... Um, cereal. Are you going to get the Lady yeah. Commissar with the power fists? So I am, yeah, because I think that's... I make make it the the non-full sexy version. Yeah, The sexy version is a bit too... It's a bit too much, isn't it? It's a bit too raunchy. Like, I don't know if I can deal with it. You don't want to get a boner in the middle of the battle. I I, I need only all that blood going straight to my head because I'm going to be trash, so (laughs) no fucking distractions. No, my 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 favourite dude is just the double knife dude. Double knife, double knife man. Just running in, <laughs> running in with two two little knives. Like, fuck oh this. my god, fuck this! He's going. I want like have him like bursting through bamboo trees. <laughs> he's running in. He's loving uh, that. CQC, a great time. huh? Close <laughs> quarters combat. <laughs> CQC. You should, de- you should definitely do one as uh, Snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that would be well, awesome. I have a cardboard box. What are you talking oh, about? Oh yes, <laughs> yes, dude. Can, well, that's, an have, like, you that's an objective. That's an objective. Marker. You just you got to recover him. A guy peeking out from underneath a cardboard so box. Perfect. Oh, nice. I do. Oh, I'm really. Fuck sound. I'm really tempted to try and do. Um, I saw someone who did some really cool, um, Imperial Guard boys, uh, who were just on wires, wires coming out of their base, and then just the wires stopped like two inches up, so it looked like they'd been rappelling down. Oh, nice! And they just like reached the bottom, reached the ground. Oh, what? So you turn them leave the Valkyrie? And yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You just like say that they've come out. I think that's cool. a really cool idea. I need to figure out what I'm doing with these guys, actually. Is that, is that a fire? So this is, I kit-bashed a uh, Fireblade, a Cantre Fireblade, which is like one of my HQs. He's like my infantry oh, HQs. Shit. So um, I basically took the Ethereal, because I didn't want to use the Ethereals that you get in the start collecting set. Took yeah. like his rogue legs and then just stuck a Fire Warrior <laughs> body and armor on the top. That is pretty cool. Well, it's just going to kit-bash him into like another nice. unit I like type. the Ethereal cloak. The, the Fireblades are actually pretty good. So they're just like a little Tau dude on his own. But the main reason that you buy them is one unit... Uh, one Tau unit every turn can fire an additional shot. Oh, so you basically can get like an extra shot off all of your yeah, dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's pretty good. There's a special character version as well, I think called Dark Side, And he can reduce the toughness of one enemy unit within 18 inches by one. Yeah. So he can basically but be like, kill them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah wow, well, that's great. And when you're fucking shooting at strength five with most of your weapons as well, it's like, that's actually pretty damn good. It's pretty, pretty spooky scary. Oh, spooky scary what fire, skeletons. What are the fire warrior guns? Are they good? Uh, so there's you can get a bunch of different types now. They've got um, you've got pulse rifles, pulse carbines, and pulse blasters, which are like shotguns. Right. And the pulse rifles are 30 inch range, rapid fire, strength five, no 30 AP. 30 inch. 30 inch, yeah, rapid fire as well. Strength so what? Strength five. Fuck. Yeah, they're fucking nuts. No AP, but they're pretty crazy. Pulse carbines are 18 inch range, assault two, um, strength five, no AP. Well, uh, so two shots bolt each. Bolt guns are kind of shit these days, aren't they? Bolt guns do seem to... Like, the new bolt rifles are pretty good because oh, yeah, they've got the AP, yeah. but yeah, bolt guns don't seem as good anymore. It's all um, about storm bolts, though. Storm mm, bolts Four are shots at close range. Oh, that's and nuts. 12. And you can, and if you've got two of them as well, like yeah. on dreads and stuff so like the, that. That's what the bikes have, right? So the, at least this one, this is like the captain of the squad, gets a, gets a commie, commie weapon, which can you pick a bolt, uh, storm bolter. Yeah. So the, the regular bikes have a storm bolter. And then you have a storm on top. So each each bike with a storm has eight shots within twelve. Mm. So I've got a squad of my other, my other bike squad is the like a veteran squad of bikers, and they all have storm And There's five of them. So if they get within twelve, they get forty Ooh. shots. That's, that's, that's fucking awful. Wow. <laughs> that's so bad. Like that's the perfect thing against like tyrannids yeah. in the guard. Like you just have mass shooting. Yeah, that is terrifying. I know. I think Shin's using these new short range tower guys. So they've got these weapons where if you're at different ranges, they have different strength and yeah. AP. And at five sure. inches, they're strength five or strength six, AP minus one. Damn. But you have to get them within five inches. That's and like pretty Tau, close. I'm like, how do you fucking do that without them all dying? How fast do they move? Tau, only like six inches. They're not particularly quick. That's, that's risky, Shin. Yeah, like, I don't, I, he might, I don't know. I think, like, I just happened to see the models he posted on Twitter and I think he had the Pulse Carbines on there. Right. Um, 
But yeah, they're like, I mean, they are really good. If you can get them that close, they're pretty fucking scary. I think they're like two shots each as well. Oh. So it's just like. How's your uh, ruby sword? Um, I'm just applying the glaze now. What are you, what are you thinking? Well, you know, I'm not too sure. It's too pinky, I think. Yeah, it's, it's quite, it's quite it's gemmy. Too, quite gemmy. What do you guys think at home? Comment and let us know. Mike's on it. He knows how go. YouTube works. Oh, yeah. Smash that like button. It looks pretty good for just blood. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was thinking I couldn't actually get, get, get the glaze. Get really good. Do like try two coats of the red. See how that looks. I reckon it'll look quite cool. Horrible blood effects. It should look quite shiny. I might actually just try shoving a bit on another. Get on a horn again. Let's put it on this. I would have tried it. Yeah, I would have tried it on something else first. Then a massive sword. You, you probably should have tried that on a, uh, on a this, shitty minute. Uh, this, 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 straight for the home tire. <laughs> this guy is like a test guy anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, we need to repaint some of them. Yeah. I think like, that's one of the hardest things I found was like working out colour schemes and like, you know, figuring out which bits you were mm. going to paint which way. Like, especially on like crisis suits where you've got so many like thick colour blocks and stuff yeah. like that. Luckily, that's where washes are your friend. Well, should we wrap it up? Yeah, I was thinking I was going to say, like, I'm, I've done as much as I think I can do today. Yeah, okay. But I'm sure there'll be more in the future. Okay. Um, cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll You'll see you again for some more Warhammers sometime. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully a game, maybe. Yeah, I think that is yeah, the idea. With, I think yeah. they wanted to do more of, like, these paint and chills, mm. but they can start playing some games now, once start, everyone's got everything painted. Start losing everybody. <laughs> Stay tuned. Bye. 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 Yeah. See you later. Oh, my mic off. <laughs> <laughs> That's good timing. <laughs>